All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching ReZero Season 2, Episode 12. I'm really looking forward to this episode. I don't have anything to say before the start of the episode, so without further ado, let's go right into the episode right now. How is this episode going to go? Yeah, I think someone commented on my last video saying about like, um, it wasn't that Emilia was possessed in the last episode. It was more that she'd gone, she just completely lost the plot, like because of what what had happened. And yeah, that was full on Amelia. She just completely went insane. So I was like, wow, that adds so much more effect and emphasis to the episode. It's crazy. How many how many times are we gonna have to see this scene? It must be torture for Subaru. Yeah. Hmm. Once again, they had to both Subaru to go out in such a painful way. Jeez. Will anything be resolved this episode? Will even more ridiculous encounters happen? Was that him speaking? Huh? Oh my god. Damn. What? Oh my god. I thought it was going to show the aftermath of all of his deaths then. Oh, I don't think I'm ready to see that. Not at all. Oh my god, is it going to happen again? I forgot what killed him this time. I forget. It was death. Oh my god, it's gonna it's literally just gonna show most of them or all of them, I swear. Oh 
Oh God. This really makes me think that he's not redoing his checkpoints in the same world. Oh god. Yeah, this makes me think he's not redoing his checkpoints in the same world. He's just skipping to another world. And that would be... Oh, I don't even know how I'd feel about that. That would be fucking awful. But it is a likely option. That could be happening. And I don't know, because I don't know anything about the light novel or anything like that. But fuck. Oh, fuck this one. Oh, fuck. Dumb. Oh, God. Ram? Maybe you are. Yeah. Well, it's not your fault, man. You got put in this world. You're not strong. It's not your fault. This best girl right here. Forever and always. Even if this wasn't real.
Who's this? Lost. Interesting. Oh. Wow. Okay. Was that... I remember her saying something... That, like, every time she'd see him from now on, it'd become harder and harder or something? That seemed pretty hard. Yeah, true. Yeah, she has a point. It need, it was necessary. Subaru was losing himself, especially in that. If that was the trial, that trial. On reality. Oh, God. I really hope not. Yeah, Akidan is not a bad person. Her ways are a bit far, interesting, I suppose, like what she just did there, but that was necessary because he was losing himself. Yeah, he should. Good question. It's not that easy, is it? What? Oh. And what would that entail? And what's the catch? <clears throat> yeah. What's the catch? Please ask what's the catch, Subaru. Please. Please. <laughs> Why is he not asking what's the catch? What would be... Oh, no. Oh, is this Raph? I think. Who is this? Yeah, Raph. <laughs> She's like a little superhero. Like a Sailor Moon girl.
What's the deal? Did Subaru not question this contract, like the cons of it, in any way? Because she trusts her? Because he trusts her, sorry? Or is he just being stupid right now? Yeah. Yes. Thank you for saying that, Raph. Yes, please. Please elaborate. Hmm. What does that mean? <laughs> Bruh. Does every witch want a piece of Subaru? God damn. Who is this? Who is this? Sloth. <laughs> Damn, I like her design. <laughs> I like how she always goes, Ah, <laughs> oh, the one that destroyed Subaru. Hi, yes, hello. Oh god. Bro, Subaru, what man, what kind of man are you? That you've got six of the witches with you. If it was seven, I'd be thoroughly confused. Oh, okay. No, thank you. No, thank you. Nope. No, Subaru, do not take this. You can do it. You can do it by yourself. You've done it by yourself so far. You can keep trying I don't think he should take it I mean, I like Akidana. She's just a bit insane. But I think if he just keeps struggling to do exactly what he needs to do, it will take a longer time, but he'll be able to get to a future where everyone he wants to live lives. Oh my god.
Yeah. Okay. Mm hmm Really? Oh. That's bad. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Oh no.
This is not okay. Life is not Daijobu. Ooh. Damn. What an informative episode. Jeez, I don't even know what to say to that. Seeing Ekidana's true ways, feelings about everything. She is the witch of greed, so this is to all be expected. But damn, I really don't know how I feel about Ekidana now. I mean, she is a great character and she kind of gives it a face value. That She's very, she, she's the witch of greed. She's a greedy person. Greedy witch. Um, but to see what she's put Beatrice through just because she wasn't like, like didn't tell Beatrice exactly what she was waiting for kind of. And to see what she wanted to do to Subaru, which at first didn't sound horrible, but it was then more like she really only cared about what happened with Subaru, basically. Like she said, she'd be able to give all of her intelligence and knowledge and wisdom to Subaru to help him get the future he desires. But it was more she only really cared about him or her thing, which is Subaru in the situation. So it's not 100% whether she'd be able to offer the knowledge for anybody else. I don't know. I oh, the return by deaths. I really don't want to find out in the future that they all are separate realities and not the same reality. It would make sense, but I really don't want it to. But I also think the Ekidana made a point of instead of thinking about the things that you've lost, thinking about the people that you've saved. And you just need to keep moving forward through whatever reality you can. Just think about the reality you live in, even though there's pain and suffering in the previous ones. There's nothing he could do. He was brought into this world against his will, and he doesn't have the power to change it at the pace at which he wants to. So, yeah. God, that was a good episode. That was a really good episode. And see all the witches in one place too, especially the new ones, like Sloth and Lust. Oh, Damn, that was a good episode. But uh, yeah, anyway guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I certainly did. And I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice rest of your day. Um, peace out.